Hello everyone, thank you for joining me, I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet this giraffe. The larger giraffe using eight ply wool, which is light worsted in the US and double knit in the UK, is 20 centimetres by 9 centimetres or 8 inches by 3.5 inches. The smaller giraffe using four ply crochet cotton is 13 centimetres by 6 centimetres or 5 inches by 2.5 inches. I'll be using 4 ply crochet cotton today. I've got yellow for my main colour, a light brown for my contrast and black for the eyes and the hooves. I've got my scissors, a 1.25mm crochet hook, a darning needle to weave in the ends and I've got sewing thread and a needle to stitch it together. The white is to embroider a dot on the eyes. Now I'll start on the muzzle, the brown piece here. I start with a magic loop, which is sometimes called a magic circle. For a magic loop I put my hook on my yarn and bring the short end over and take the long end over the short end to make a circle. Then I put my yarn around the hook and bring the hook with the yarn through the circle and that's my magic loop. Then I work two chain and work three double crochet into my circle. A double crochet is called a treble in the UK. For a double crochet I put my yarn around the hook, hook in through the circle through the front and bring back a loop. Yarn around the hook Hook and yarn through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook and yarn through two loops. And I need two more double crochet. Now I'm going to work three treble into the circle. A treble is called a double treble in the UK. For a treble we put our yarn around the hook twice hook it through the circle and bring back a loop, yarn around the hook, hook and yarn through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook and yarn through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook and yarn through the last two loops. And I need two more treble. Next I work six double crochet into my circle. Then I work three treble and then lastly I work three double crochet. Then I pull my circle tight, so I take hold of the tail and just ease it in as tight as I can. And I work a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. So this stitch here, I put my hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on my hook. And that's our first row done. For row two we start with one chain and work one single crochet in the same stitch as a chain. A single crochet is called a double crochet in the UK. For a single crochet I put my hook into the stitch and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook and take my hook and yarn through both the loops. 
then I need a single crochet into the next stitch. Into the next stitch I work a single crochet and a half double crochet. A half double crochet is called a half treble in the UK. For a half double crochet I put my yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring through a loop. Yarn around the hook and take my hook and yarn through all the loops. And then I work one half double crochet into the next stitch, two half double crochet into the following stitch, one half double crochet into the next stitch, one half double crochet and one single crochet into the following stitch. And then I work one single crochet into each of the next four stitches. Into the next stitch I work a single crochet and a half double crochet. Then one half double crochet into the next stitch. Two half double crochet into the following stitch. One half double crochet into the next stitch. One half double crochet and one single crochet into the next stitch. And then a single crochet into each remaining stitch. And then work a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. And then we fasten off. We cut the yarn and take our yarn through the loop and pull it tight. When I'm weaving in my ends I'll tighten the circle a bit more. So I'll weave in my ends now to make it easier for you to see when I'm crocheting on the top of the head. We'll start on the top of the head now. So we join in between our half double crochet and our single crochet. So just in there. And work one chain and then work a single crochet into the same stitch as a chain and then work one single crochet into each of the next six stitches. For row two we start with three chain and turn our work and we work a join double crochet over the first two stitches. For double join double crochet we put the yarn around our hook, hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take our hook and yarn through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook hook and yarn through two loops. We've got three loops on our hook. Yarn around the hook and take the hook and yarn through the remaining loops. Then we work one double crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. and then work a join double crochet over our last two stitches. For row three, we start with three chain and turn our work 
and we're going to work a double crochet cluster over the first three stitches. A double crochet cluster is similar to a join double crochet but we're going to work the one extra stitch. So yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take our hook and yarn through two loops. Then yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook and yarn through two loops. We have three loops on our hook. Then we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take our hook and yarn through two loops. We've got four loops on our hook. Then we put the yarn around the hook and take our hook and yarn through all the loops. So that's a, a double crochet cluster over three stitches. Now we're going to work another double crochet cluster over three stitches. We're going to start in the same stitch as the last part of our double crochet cluster. So yarn around the hook, hook into the same stitch as the last part of the stitch. Bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take our hook and yarn through two stitches. Yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook, hook and yarn through two loops. Then yarn around the hook, hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take our hook and yarn through two loops. Yarn around the hook and take our hook and yarn through the remaining loops. And then we fasten off. And that's the head done. We'll start on the horns now. So using the light brown, I start with seven chain. I work a single crochet in the third chain from the hook. So that stitch there, I work a single crochet. And then I work one slip stitch into each remaining chain. For a slip stitch I put my hook into the stitch and bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on my hook. And I fasten off, leaving a longer tail to use to attach it to the head. So that's one horn done. I need another one the same. So I start with seven chain. I work a single crochet in the third chain from the hook. And then work a slip stitch into each remaining chain. and fasten off leaving a longer tail. Now I'll just weave in the ends of the head and then we'll attach the ears and start on the neck. Now we'll start on these ears now. We join our cotton a couple of stitches down from the top of the head. So I'll start in this stitch here. I join my yarn and work four chain and then I work a join treble in the same place as the chain so I put my yarn around the hook twice hook into the same stitch as a chain and bring up a loop yarn around the hook 
hook and yarn through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook and yarn through two loops. I've got two loops left, then I put my yarn around the hook twice, hook into the same stitch as a chain and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, hook and yarn through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook and yarn through two loops. I have three loops left, yarn around the hook and take my hook and yarn through the remaining loops and then I fasten off. And the ear on the other side is worked the same. So join a couple of stitches down from the top. and work four chain and work a join treble in the same place as a chain and fasten off And that's the head and ears done. Now for the eyes, they're only quite tiny, so I make a magic loop and work one chain and work two slip stitch into my circle. I pull the circle tight and join with a slip stitch in the chain. and fasten off. And I've got a tiny circle. I need another one the same. So I make a magic loop and work one chain and work two slip stitch into my circle. Pull the circle tight and join with a slip stitch in the chain and fasten off. Now I'll just weave in the ends from the ears and I'll be back and we'll start on the neck and the body. We'll start on the neck now. We join our cotton at the bottom of the muzzle, one stitch off centre. And work one chain, work a single crochet in the same stitch as the chain and one single crochet into the next stitch. For rows 2 to 5, we work 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each stitch. So that's rows 2 to 5. Now I've worked up to row 5. For row 6 we work 1 chain and turn. We work 2 single crochet into the first stitch and 1 single crochet into the next stitch. Row 7 to 12 will work the same. We work 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each stitch. That's row 7. So row 7 to 12 are one chain and one single crochet into each stitch.
Now that's the neck done. We start on the body now. We start with one chain and work two single crochet into the first stitch. One single crochet into the next stitch and three single crochet into our last stitch. For row 14 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. For row 15 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch Work two single crochet into the last stitch and then work six chain. That's for along the back. For row 16 we work two single crochet in the second chain from the hook. And then work one single crochet into each of the remaining chain and then each of our stitches to the end of the row. Now the next three rows, rows 17, 18 and 19 are worked the same. We work one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. That's row 17, 18 and 19. One single crochet into each stitch. So I'll work those rows and I'll be back when I get to the end of row 19. Now I've finished up to the end of row 19. Now we're going to start decreasing for the front of the giraffe. The back is just work straight. So for row 20 we start with one chain and turn and we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. And we work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. So we put our hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop. 
yarn around the hook and take a hook and yarn through the both or the loops. Row 21, we start with one chain and turn our work and we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and then work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. And for row 22, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. And we'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. I've got two stitches left so I'll work my joined single crochet over the last two stitches and then we fasten off. And there's the head and body done. I'll just weave in my ends and I'll be back and we'll do an evening row. Now for the evening row I join my cotton just in there at the top of the neck. And I work a single crochet into each stitch down the neck. I'll be crocheting in the tail so I hold that against my work and crochet over the top of it. I'm just finding a suitable place to put my hook not too far from the edge. Now around this curve you may need to work two single crochet into a stitch at times. If your stitch starts to bend back a bit just work an extra single crochet into the stitch.
and then across the bottom just work one single crochet into each stitch. And round the corner you may need to work two single crochet into a couple of stitches. I'm going to be working my tail once I get up close to the back. So I'll be working my single crochet around to about two stitches before the, the start of the back. So just about here I'll work my single crochet. Now I start on my tail, I work 13 chain I miss the first chain and I work one slip stitch into each remaining chain Then I work a single crochet into the next stitch on the body and continue working single crochets around the back and up along the neck. So I'll continue around till I get to the neck and I'll be back. Once we get to the end of the neck, we slip stitch in to the muzzle, that stitch there. And fasten off. And that's the body and most of the, the head and most of the tail done. We'll just do the end of the tail now. With our contrast colour, we join at the end of the tail. And work three chain. And work a joined double crochet into that same stitch as a chain. and fasten off. And that's the tail finished. Now these three legs are worked the same. This leg is worked a bit different. So we'll start on the back left leg. So using our main colour we make a magic loop and work three chain, then work three double crochet 
into our circle. We pull our circle tight. For row two, we start with three chain and work two double crochet into our first stitch. and work one double crochet into the other two stitches. For row three, we start with three chain and turn. We work one double crochet into our first stitch and we work a double crochet cluster over our last three stitches. That gives the leg a nice bend. Rows four and five are work the same. We start with three chain and turn and work one double crochet into each of our two stitches. For row six we start with three chain and turn and work one double crochet into each of the two stitches. Now we don't turn, we're going to work a neatening row now of a slip stitch in each stitch up the side along the top and then down the side. We're not going to go across the bottom of the leg we're going to put the hoof on the bottom of the leg. So just a slip stitch in each stitch. I don't want the legs to get too fat so I'm just going to work a slip stitch. You could leave, leave them unneatened if you'd rather. And just slip stitch in the top there and fasten off. And that's the back left leg. It's just got a bit of a curve around the top and it's slightly longer than the others. 
for the other legs we start with five chain and we work two double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook and then one double crochet in the last chain row two we start with three chain and turn our work we work a joined double crochet over the first two stitches and work one double crochet into the next stitch rows three and four are work the same we start with three chain and turn and work one double crochet into each of our two stitches And for row 5 we start with 3 chain and turn and work 1 double crochet into each of our 2 stitches. Now we don't turn our work now and we work a slip stitch into each stitch up the side, across the top and down the other side. We don't work across the end because we'll be putting a hoof on that. So I'll just do my neatening row around this leg the same as I did the other leg and I'll make two more legs the same as this one and I'll neaten them and I'll be back and we'll put the, the hooves on. Now all the hooves have worked the same. We join at the end of the leg and work three chain and work one double crochet into each stitch and fasten off. And that's the leg with the hoof. For the spots, I think I've got about 11 on this one. We just make random spots, um, some bigger than others. So I'll make a magic loop a larger spot and work three chain and work one double crochet into the circle. Pull the circle tight and fasten off. And that's one of the larger spots. For a smaller spot I'll work, make a magic loop and work one chain and work four single crochet into my circle pull the circle tight and slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off
we'll probably need really tiny spots for uh, the top of the head so they could be worked the same as as the eyes make a magic loop and work one chain and work to slip stitch into the circle pull the circle tight and fasten off so I'd, I'd make various spots just enough to fit around your giraffe so I'll work the rest of the spots and weave in the ends and work the, the rest of the hooves and I'll be back and we'll put it together now here's all the pieces the first things I'll do is attach the two horns to the top of the head with the tail just in like that I'll embroider white dots in the centre of both the eyes and I'll attach the left leg. The back left leg goes up against the back just about there and the front leg goes just before it starts curving up but even with the back leg along the bottom. So I'll do those and I'll be back. The next things we do is attach the eyes to the head just at the top of the first row and embroider on a mouth and then attach the back legs in behind the body a bit higher up than the front legs probably about there so I'll stitch those on and I'll be back and we'll arrange the dots the last thing to do is arrange the spots on the giraffe. I put two small ones on the head one on the back one on the top of the neck one on the back leg another one there around the front I'll put one there, a small one in between, one down there, and then just a couple more. I've got one left, but that's okay. So I'll attach them and I'll be back to show you the finished giraffe. And here's the finished giraffe. The weaving in the ends and the stitching it together do take a bit of time. If you like my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website, where I have my patterns, and the details on my Facebook group. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.